वेलकम बैक वी आर नाउ इन सेगमेंट एट पॉइंट सेवन एंड इन सेगमेंट वी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डब्ल्यू सी टी एल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सो सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ अ हाउ अ बैंक प्लस इज द वर्किंग कैपिटल लिमिट बेस्ड ऑन वेरियस मेथड सो वी हैव डिस्कस द मोस्ट कॉमन मेथड एज द सेकंड मेथड ऑफ लेंडिंग ओके सो लेट इस एज्यूम दैट द कंपनी विच हैज अवेलिंग वर्किंग कैपिटल लिमिट फॉर द बैंक हैज सबमिटेड अ रेन्यूअल प्रपोजल सो एज अ बैंकर ऑन पो यूजिंग परस्यूइंग द फाइनेंशियल यू अब्जर्व दट द करंट रेश इज वन पॉइंट वन इन अदर वर्ड्स द एक्चुअल एनडब्ल्यू सी इज लेस दैन द मिनिमम रिक्वर्ड एनडब्ल्यू सी राइट सो वॉट यू डू एज अ बैंकर इफ यू गेट अ प्रपोजल राइट फॉर रेन्यूअल और एनहांसमेंट राइट and you observe that the 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 current ratio as per the as per the latest uh, audited balance sheet is less than the uh, minimum norm might be 1.33 1.5 as per your bank now what do you do as a banker right now this is a different uh, totally different case compared to a new borrower if a new borrower comes to you and you find that uh, uh, the nwc is uh, not as per the minimum requirement you can reject the proposal you you say your financials are not good we are not going to take up the proposal but what if the company is an existing customer already availing limit so what do you do right so 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 if you if you are thorough with the concept so far we have discussed so far what is what this essentially means is if the current ratio is less than the minimum norm uh, it means there is some excess borrowing okay so bank finance has exceeded the uh, mbbf so there is some excess borrowing okay so let us see what's going on so uh, suppose a company is sanctioned to occ limit of 400 lakhs last year last year it was sanctioned to occ limit of 4 crores it is now come for some renews for some renewal renew renew or enhancement okay so now you observe that the current ratio Uh, current ratio is 850 lakhs. Current liability is 670 lakhs. Okay. Out of the 670, uh, 270 is uh, all other current liabilities. 400 is the bank loan. Okay. 400 lakhs is the CC limit which is sanctioned. So out of six, this is also current liability. Okay. So the, out of the total current liability of 670, 400 lakhs is the bank finance and 270 is the other uh, the current liabilities. So if you if you were to calculate the current ratio, current ratio is current assets by current liabilities. Current assets is 850. So 850 by current liabilities. So the current liabilities all. Both these put together, six seventy. So you are added. So you are added a current ratio of one point two seven, which is less than the uh, minimum required norm of one point three three. Okay. So this is the calculation. If you do the MBBF, so if you do the MBBF, this is the, this is the format for the the second method of lending. This we done. This we have seen already. So how do you calculate MBBF as, as per the second method of lending? You take the current assets, less current liabilities, all current liabilities except the bank finance. That is two seventy. So you are you are aware what is known as the working capital gap. Right, working capital gap is five eighty. Now this working capital gap five eighty has to be sh shared between the uh, the borrower and the mar margin. This is the long term funds and the uh, bank. Okay, so so what is this minimum margin? So twenty five percent of the current assets. So twenty five percent of eight fifty will be two twelve point five. So the balance bank should be sanctioning as the CCL with this is seven point five. We said that we also calculate the actual NWC. Right, we just don't we we just don't look at the minimum NWC. We also look at the actual NWC. So actual NWC in this case is one eighty. So working capital gap minus actual NWC is of four hundred. So lower of these two is three sixty seven point five. So this is the MPPF. Okay. So this is the maximum permissible bank finance. So this is the maximum permissible bank finance. If the current ratio were to be a holding good, if the minimum uh, current ratio one point three three is to hold good, bank can go go can go bank finance can go. Go up to only, uh, only up to three sixty seven point five. But this is an existing company, right? This is an existing company that is having a sanction limit of four hundred lakhs, and it's already drawn. It's already utilized four hundred lakhs. So we have a situation where the actual outstanding is four hundred lakhs, right? Whereas we are saying the uh, MBB of the maximum finance which bank can exist theoretically, right? To ensure that the current ratio is one point three three is only three sixty seven point five lakhs. So what is happening? There is an excess borrowing, right? There is an excess. Borrowing. This is the term we use. Excess borrowing, of to the extent of thirty-two point five. Okay, this thirty-two point five is the excess borrowing. While theoretically we should sanction only this sixty-seven point five, the actual outstanding today is only is is more than that. It is four hundred lakhs. This is arising because the the current ratio is less than the minimum norm. We have a current ratio of one point two seven, which is less than the bank norm of one point three three. So what do you do now as a banker, right? So this company has come for renewal. What what do you do? Uh, please note that you didn't do this intentionally, right? Last year, when you sanctioned the limit, maybe the financial position was good. Current ratio then maybe 1.4. It is greater than the minimum. Last year it might be okay. We went ahead, we went ahead and sanctioned. We came to know of this financial position. The current ratio is less than the minimum norm right now, right? So in this one year we didn't know. Now we are knowing. So earlier we didn't know we sanctioned. Now what are you going to do? Now you came to know that your current ratio is less than 1.27. So, so are you going to? Uh, Not renew instead of renewing four uh, hundred lakhs. Are you saying 
are you going to say will renew only this this sixty seven point five you pay back the so what you are going to do right so now if you renew four hundred lakhs now if you sanction four hundred lakhs this year you are you are making a mistake earlier you did not so you are not there was no mistake on your part but now definitely if you renew the limit for four hundred lakhs you are in the you are doing something wrong because the maximum permissible bank finance is only three sixty seven point five so what do you do so theoretically right please remember this is theoretically in actual practice this is uh, not done uh, this is not this is not usually done but theoretically the way to ensure that the current ratio in this case current ratio is 1.27 right the way to ensure that the current ratio conforms to the bank norm of 1.33 theoretically what you should do is you you have to convert this excess borrowing this 32.5 into wct working capital term loan wct is working capital term loan to be repaid over a some period say 3 to 5 years so by doing that what you are doing is you are essentially you are converting a current liability into term liability see this cc 400 entirely it is current liability so we are saying the maximum bank finance mpb is only 367.5 whereas 32.5 is excess borrowing so both these are current liabilities okay so what we are now doing is we are taking this part this excess borrowing and translating into a term liability so why we are having this problem current ratio is low so why why we are not happy with the situation we we said that if the current ratio becomes low 1.27 in this case 1.27 it becomes low 1.2 1.05 1.01 .01. you know as it is as it decreases from the norm of 1.33 there's going to be more pressure for the party to repay right what what does current ratio a low current ratio signify it means that your a low portion a low portion of your current assets are being financed by long term assets which means there is a low there is a greater pressure for the short term repayment a very low current ratio means you have immediate obligation right your current liabilities are very high which means you have to repay them at a very short notice within the next one year you have a lot of payments to be made whereas if your current ratio is high it means you have a, a reasonable time your current liabilities are less you have less pressure to repay so so what so what we do is we convert this 32.5 into a term liability so thereby we are we are giving company time in a way we are giving company time earlier it was a current liability which means it has to be paid within one year so now we are converting it to a term liability so now there is more more time to repay you said you repay this in, in a period of 3 to 5 years so now what is the current liability is only 367.5 Your entire CC is not a current liability. Four hundred is only three sixty seven point five. Now, if we calculate, recalculate the current ratio, current assets by current liability. Your current assets earlier was eighty three. Same, it will be same. But your current liability will now be earlier it was six seventy, right? So earlier it was six seventy. But now it will be six seventy minus thirty two point five because this is now converted into term liability. This is no more a current liability. So while calculating current liabilities, you will not include that portion. So now your current liabilities will come down. Right, so current ratio is current current ratio is current ratio is eight fifty by current liability six seventy minus thirty two point five. You are reducing the current liabilities thereby your current ratio goes up. How much? It will be exactly one point three three. If you do the calculation, you will exactly end up being you will exactly come up to one point three three. So current ratio has increased from one point two seven to a bank norm of one point three three by converting that excess borrowing that portion of excess borrowing into a uh, stability here. So theoretically, this is what is done. Though though in practice. You will encounter situations where banks uh, renew the limit with the uh, with the same ratio. Even if the ratio is not as per the bank norm, they go ahead and renew. Even in some cases, they go ahead and uh, do enhancement, stipulating a condition that company uh, has to infuse long term funds by so and so date, by the next balance sheet date, right? Or within three months, company they 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 stipulate some condition, go ahead with the uh, renewal and enhancement, which is not a correct way to do. Theoretically, this is the way we, which you have to do. But but then you are aware of the practical difficulties as a banker. You are aware of the. a uh, practical realities you can't be doing this for every company right there there is a business aspect to this uh, banks are uh, banks are in the banks are not here for inspection and auditing purpose right they are basically doing business so they are there 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 is some accommodation you have to make right so you can't say every company which is uh, not having the minimum current ratio we won't uh, uh, renew or enhance everything will be converted to wst you can't do that okay you are aware of the practical realities right but you should also be aware that that is a possibility which you can always enforce okay if the if the if the really a incorrigible borrower i mean he is not listening to you year after year he you know your last 3 years is the same story uh, nwc is below the minimum nwc he is giving some promises i will infuse long term funds you are renewing with the same condition uh, company has to infuse long term funds uh, within 3 months and it's not it's not realistic it's not really uh, materializing maybe in such in such sort of a uh, extreme situations you can resort to this a uh, conversion of w conversion of the uh, part of the cc limit into uh, wct how much how much 
uh, of the existing CC is something a call is a call you have to take. Okay. Uh, so the, the the problem if you you should be uh, identifying the parties. You know, you should be identifying to whom you can uh, to whom you should be doing this. Right. For some parties you can all right. You can renew or enhance with the with the low current ratio. Right. Uh, if you are if you are comfortable, you can do that. But but then there are some parties who, who to whom you should not be doing that. Okay. Because if you if you renew or enhance the with the condition that uh, a comp the firm should infuse long term funds and improve current ratio to the required number uh, next balance sheet date. Something you say or some time frame three months or six months you do this. Don't be surprised that the next year when they come back to renewal still the situation will will continue. Don't don't be at all surprised. Don't be surprised at all. Uh, this is this is what we'll be encountering in many cases. A company with a lower current ratio, say one point one two, actually now is one point three three. It will submit some projections. It will say next year we're going to improve so and so. This is how we're going to improve. It will say, and you go on, you you go ahead and renew or enhance, saying that with this condition you should infuse long term funds. Next year they come back again. You'll be finding the same situation. It will be it will it might deteriorate. Or it might increase to one point two. Again, it won't be confirmed. They are there are parties. They are parties. They are fundamentally weak in this uh, liquidity position. So you should identify the borrowers and maybe uh, take preventive measures at the very beginning. Try to convert a part of the CC into WCL. May maybe not in every case, right? There are parties who you, whom you'll be compelled to uh, renew or enhance limit with a lower current ratio. That that is acceptable. That is a pragmatic uh, approach to take. But there are parties. You should also understand that there are parties who are going to uh, repeat this uh, show year after year. So, if really the uh, if there's no margin, borrows margin, the NWC is really below the uh, minimum NWC for the past uh, couple of years, two to three years, and it's continuing. Then, then you have to resort to converting a part of the CC, right, uh, into WCDL, right. So, with this, we come to the end of the segment. In the next segment, we'll be discussing about the importance of uh, the level of cash balance, right, the the level of cash and bank balance uh, projected in the CMA data, right. See you then.